Hey, how's it going? Is this Team Limited Slip? I'm the driver of the Scion TC, and today I'm gonna be making a video on the ignition system. It's not gonna be anything crazy, just the parts, the location, the system itself, and a few recommendations and tips. Um, my TC got a check engine light, which is good for us because it's on the same subject, the ignition system. I will be making a video soon about that. So stay tuned, and hopefully you learn something from this video. Thank you. So I didn't want to make a long, boring video, so I'm going to stick to the main topics. So the ignition system's job is to burn the air fuel mixture inside the engine, and I'm going to stick to the main components. Starting off with a battery. Believe it or not, a bad battery can give you fake trouble codes. So make sure you have a good battery before testing any component. So the reason I'm showing you these items on the screen, like the ECM, the relays, and the fuses, or that in the case that they do fail, you know where to look for them. Also, if you want to inspect something or test one of these items, this can also help. But word of advice, do not change any component until you can confirm that that component is what's failing. So let's move under the hood. Let's talk about the connectors and the wire harness. All right, so speaking of the harness, uh, what you want to do is you want to look at it carefully, make sure that all the wires are nice and, you know, complete. There's no chunks missing. And looking at the connector, make sure the connectors are nice. And if they are broken like these tabs, there's a trick you can do to get it to stay in place. That's with the zip tie. What you do is you put the zip tie under. So you put it under right here. Like that. Make sure the teeth are facing down and you can connect it. You're gonna slide it. It's gonna click by the time you get to the bottom. There you go, click. Now this will not come off. Another thing you can do that I've seen technicians do when they're completely broken off like this one, what they do is they'll put a dab of like FIPG, which is this Toyota silicone, like this kind. They'll just put a little dab on it so it stays in place. And that, once it dries up, we'll hold it in place. These are completely broken. So the zip tie trick will not work on this one. So put it right there like that. Once that dries up, it'll hold it in place. Usually I use black, but I don't have the, the black one. This one actually dried out. But those are two tricks you can do to keep your harness in place. Run it inside that, then you just cut it off. Then if you do want to take it off, all you do is pick it up from right here. You just pick up this tab and slide back. You want to remove it. Okay. For anybody interested, I will be making a how to replace these uh, connector video. But let's move on to the ignition coils. So the ignition coil increases the battery voltage and sends that voltage to the spark plug to create the spark. I always prefer to stick with what the manufacturer recommends, which is a Denzel. Here's the part number. The factory coils are designed to last a long time, so I usually stick with those. Let's move on to the spark plugs. Toyota recommends two types of spark plugs. And here's some specs for the spark plug gap. This is a tool to check the spark plug gap. Make sure you check the spark plug gap before installing them. Here's the two types of spark plugs. One's a Denzel, there's a part number, and the other one is an NGK. When are you supposed to change the spark plugs? Well, the owner's manual states that you're supposed to change them after 120,000 miles. I change mines every five years or every 60,000 miles, depending on how I drive. Let's move on to the sensors that send inputs to the ignition system. One of those sensors is called the crankshaft position sensor, and it is located on the front of the timing cover. When removing it, be very careful not to break the connectors. This is a picture of what it looks like. Also, it has an O-ring that can leak, just something to be aware of. So basically, the job of this sensor is to let the ECM know the position of the crankshaft. And the reason why that's important is because the, the ignition coil has to fire at a certain time. So basically, if this sensor fails, the ignition system won't know when to fire. And that can cause misfires and other problems. The next sensor is a camshaft position sensor. And is located in the back of the block on the right side. And it also has an O-ring that can leak. Here's a picture of what it looks like. This sensor is similar to the crankshaft position sensor 
in the sense that it also has to do with timing, except it monitors the camshaft. So that about wraps up most of the important uh, ignition components on the Scion TC first generation. Let's move on to the second generation Scion TC. So pretty much is the same, same basic layout as the first generation. Some things do change though. For example, the ECM relay block assembly and integrated relay are pretty much all together on this car. This part of the video is going to be a little bit more brief because there's only a few changes. And that's what I'm going to talk about right now. So pretty much the coils, the wires are very similar. And for the coils, I do recommend the Denzos because they're factory. For the spark plugs, here's the spark plug type and spark plug number or part number. Here is the specification for the spark plug gap that these spark plugs have to be gapped to. According to the service manual, the first replacement of the spark plugs on these cars should be done at 120,000 miles. But I still recommend that after that you replace the spark plugs every 5 years or 60,000 miles. That way you can keep the best performance and MPG out of your vehicle. But again, that is up to you. This is a general chart of the different types of spark plugs and their lifespan. Alright, so let's move on to the crankshaft position sensor. This one is located on the left side of the timing cover. Here's a picture of what it looks like. The visual inspection is the same as the last one, so just vis visibly inspect the wires and the connector itself and the seals. Let's move on to the biggest difference on this model. The biggest difference is that this one has two cam sensors, and they are located on top of the valve cover. So, to be more specific, it has an intake cam sensor and an exhaust cam sensor, and it also has an o-ring that should be inspected. This is an actual picture of where they're located. So that about wraps up the basic system and components of the ignition system on a Scion TC. I would also like to include the different ignition coils Toyota has used over the years and the evolution of them. So in the early years, Toyota used to use a single ignition coil to power the spark plugs. That single ignition coil will send the spark to the distributor and the distributor will send it individually to every spark plug through wires. Unfortunately, if that single coil would fail, you would be left stranded. So let's move on to the next one. So in this system, Toyota combined the distributor and the coil as one unit. But same thing, this coil or coil pack would send the spark to every spark plug individually through wires. But this system, similar to the last system, if this single ignition coil would fail, it would affect all cylinders. So let's move on to a more modern ignition coil system. This one has two coils for four spark plugs. Two spark plugs share one coil. So if one of these coils would fail, you would have 50% of the power going to the engine. That's the downfall of this system. However, it's still better than having no power at all. Because in most cases, that's enough power to get you to a shop or get you home. So let's go to the modern days. One coil per cylinder. If one of these coils would fail, you will still have 75% of the power. And it is very unlikely for all four of them to give out at the same time. So in a way, this system is better than the previous ones. So pretty much, this system is similar to the one in our Scion TCs, if not the same. Thanks for watching and I hope you learned something and liked this video. Please like and subscribe and keep on enjoying this hobby of learning about automotive. Thank you.